congratulations to you all today i do especially congratulate you because you are attending to the english online class here in aktabuddin college today our matter discussed our topic of discussion is transformation of sentences you know what a sentence is before starting the transformation of sentences we are saying something about sentence what a sentence is a sentence is a group of words in a collecting order that gives us a complete sense this is a sentence a sentence can be classified in two ways you know it already first of all it is classified on the basis of many and on the basis of many sentences are of five kinds likely you see assertive imperative optative imperative and explanatory and secondly we can analyze sentence on the basis of its structure and in this way here a sentence is of three kinds namely simple compound complex a structure is different but meaning the same simple what a simple sentence is it has its own characteristics compound and complex in the same way they have their own characteristics for who is we can say differently simple compound complex a simple sentence what a simple sentence is it is a sentence where we find no clause only subject and final verb and extension here a sentence you see i want to mark it in this this is a sentence there are several words and it gives us a complete sense i want to mark it here the subject i point is the final verb no other clauses this is a simple sentence likely another simple sentence i bought a book all these two are the examples of simple sentences we can transform this simple sentence into compound or into complex they have relationship and there are several rules dear students attention please there are several interesting rules with the help of who is we can transform a compound sentence into a simple into a complex for solving your hsc syllabus there are i think 11 or 12 important rules that can help you transforming these sentences on the basis of a structure and for changing a sentence or a category i mean suppose compound sentence how to change it into a simple and a complex sentence there are 12 rules or more than that here i am telling you a rule you see here i want to mark it this is a simple sentence and if i connect the next sentence 
I bought a book with a coordinate conjunction and then what happens? I went to market and bought a book. Here in the second sentence this subject I is unnecessary because the same subject in both the sentences and the same finite box. So the same subject in the second one is unnecessary. What is here now? I went to market and bought a book. This altogether comprises a compound sentence. And this can be transformed. This compound sentence can be transformed into complex sentence. How? Here in this compound sentence, there is no cause and effect. If there were any cause and effect, we could have used since, as, or because, and thus could frame a complex sentence. I went to market and bought a book. There is no cause and effect, but rather there we find what time not directly mentioned like today at 7 a.m. or yesterday, but underlying time. I went to market and bought a book. Here is a sort of time. I mean, Zakon in Bangla, Zakon Ami Bazar in Islam, Ekti Boi in Islam. I mean, time is mentioned here. When? The subordinate conjunction. When? Using when, we can transform this compound sentence into a complex one. And in this complex sentence, this is the complex sentence when I went to market. Comma, I bought a book. This is a complex sentence. What is a complex sentence you know? There in a complex sentence you find a subordinate clause, a principal clause. This subordinate clause can be used at the beginning of the sentence. Or the principal clause can be used at the beginning of the, of the sentence. That is then, it could be in this way, I got a book if we use the principal clause at the outset of the sentence, then the sentence is, I bought a book when, this is the subordinate conjunction, when I went to market. In this way, we can transform this compound sentence into complex sentence. Here in the last category, we need, we do not need any comma. In place of comma, there is the conjunction. It is united and this is the complex sentence. In this way, if we want to, you see, if we want to transform this compound sentence or this complex sentence into a simple one. We could write in this way using the present participle. When it, here in the first sentence, in the compound sentence, coordinate clause went, and in the second clause, coordinate clause, there is the finite verb what. We can use the very present form of went, go, basic form of went, present form of went, go, and ing, going. This is a participle. 
and by using this participle in Bangla it is here, here, jaya, chaya, bodhiya. This is the simple form. Went, the present form go, then simple go, going. Going to market. In Bangla it is bazare jaya, going to market. I bought a book. You see, this is the simple sentence. Only there is no cross, no more cross, only one subject and a finite verb. And this is the participle phrase going to market. This sentence, dear students, remember, can be in two other ways by using two commas and without comma. This sentence can be this part can be brought at the outset. I bought a book. I bought a book. Going to the market. Going to market. We need no comma here, but you can use two commas. There is a structure. There is a system. There is also a system. I comma going to market. This is the participle phrase. Going to market. Comma. What did I do? I bought. Good. Here is I. I going to market. Bought a book. What did I do? I bought a book. These three are the different structure of the same simple sentence. In this way, rule number one, changing sentences on the basis of its structure. Rule number one, in Bangla I can say for your interest. Attention please. In this way we can say Suppose there is the compound sentence first. You must have a sentence first and then transform this that on into other two. Ekti compound bakke jodi duiti principal verb thake. This went is a principal verb and this bought is the principal verb in the past form. Ekti compound bakke jodi duiti principal verb thake tobe je kashti age shompurno hoy kon kashta age shompurno hoyeche i went to market i went yes no then i bought so je kashti age shompurno hoy tar present form er sathe ing jog korte hoy base form er sathe then it is a simple sentence what is the present form of went? Go. Go is the present form of went. So, going to market, I bought a book. Jek aski aage shom pamna hoa hai ta present form of shate ayam di jok kore atta present participle zoge simple kote hoa hai. This is simple. And, jodi baak koti te Karo no thal budhai. Kon bakko? This very compound sentence. You have to realize it. You have to understand the meaning. Whether it ex the sentence expresses any cause and effect or time. I went to market and bought a book. Here we find no cause and effect. But, well, some time. So, Bakkuti te, or the compound Bakkuti te, Jodi, Shomai Dugai, Tobe, Zekaski Agasham Pamlohoi. Say Kriyadukto, Close Air Age, Hoen Dokure, Ata, I, when I went to market, Compress Kottehoi. Zekaski Agasham Pamlohoi. Say Kriyadukto, Close Air Age, Hoen Dokure, Compress Kottehoi. 
dear students this is the complex star in this way in order to transform a simple sentence or a compound sentence or a complex sentence into other two sentences there we must know 10 11 12 rules for understanding well today this is the rule number 1 in this way rule number 2 3 4 and you must know the qualities or characteristics of simple or compound or complex sentences what is simple sentences what is compound sentences and likewise what is complex on qualities dear students in the next class in the same way i will help you understand the rules one after another in the field of sentences transformation sentence transformation on the basis of its structure rule number 2 i can give you an idea who is is a simple one and pandan chandoge compound bakke jodi bibhag thake here in this part a uh, principal verb but instead of a principal verb if you see or find any bibhag like he was a good boy this is of course rule number 2 dear students this is rule number 2 what is there in the compound sentence if you if you see any bibhag he was good and all on art this is bibhav so in the case of a bibhav you can use b b i n g with b that form being good then what is the sentence simple sentence of course this is a compound sentence compound and this is this form is simple being good b from us being good and a comma of course he was honored this was as i have mentioned in the last previous examples this simple sentence can be used by using two sentences or uh, without comma how using two commas he comma being good comma was on and without using any comma he was honored being good he was honored being good this is the these are the examples of the same single same simple sentence only the variation having the variation of punctuation and dear students we have started our class today with the transformation of sentences on the basis of its structure and in the following classes you will take help from your book you will take preparation if you feel any problem you can personally communicate me so that i can help you 
and today I'd like to come to an end and wishing you good luck. Thank you all.